Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to customize the navigation menu in GoDaddy. So once you are on the actual GoDaddy website builder itself, all we need to do now is create the site navigation. So currently we don't have anything here uh, just because we only have the home page, but we'll change that. We'll ha add a service page. We'll even add a contact page and we'll even do like an FAQ or if not the FAQ will do the blog. So fairly straightforward. On the far right side, you'll see a plus icon. You wanna go ahead and select the add page. Now, once you've select that, you'll have a couple of options here, which is to add that new page. You can go ahead and link to an external website, link to section on the page and a drop down menu. Now, depending if you do have let's just say services for the navigation, um, or let's just say you have uh, a list of different services for the business. Uh, for us, it'll be digital marketing, SEO, video production, web design. So we'll have to have a drop down menu so we don't clutter and add too much to the navigation menu itself. So the way we would do that then is we'll do a drop down menu and then we'll name this one service. So then we'll create that menu and you should see it appear on the nav. As you can see, it's now coming up as a drop down. Now, what we need to do then is if we want to add pages onto here, which is simple enough, what we'll need to do here is click on a new page. Then we'll just say about us and we'll create that new page. Again, this will now appear on the nav, as you can see. Then what we'll do here is add another page. We'll call this one FAQ. Now these won't be part of the services page here. Show you that in a little minute. And then we'll add a contact page as well. Perfect. Now, of course, here's our navigation menu now. Uh, this is how it looks. We've got, of course, our home. We've got our service, about us, FAQ, and the contact page. Now, if we want to reorder pages, it's simple enough to do. You have that option here at the very top, uh, which says reorder pages. So just right here. Now, once you select that, you'll have the option here on the, well, as long as you hover over the actual page itself, you could just drag and then drop it to wherever you want. So if I make a change there, you can see now the service has moved to the far right. If I move it up here, let's just say, it's now moved just after the home itself. So I'm happy enough with how that looks and go ahead and click on done. So what we need to do here is for the service page, we want to add some pages on here. So it's a bit different on how this works. You can't just create a new page or can't add a page here and then drag and drop it. That's not how this one works. Um, you need to select the settings and then you'll have an option there to add a page. And then from here, this is where you'll add in the pages you want. So let's just say um, web design. So that'll now add into the bottom here and we should be able to preview this once this uh, loads. As you can see, there's the web design. And then again, we could do the same thing where you'll do another page for, let's just say SEO. And on top of this as well, you do have an option, not just to show it on the navigation, but you also have the option to choose to actually show it on the footer as well. So it just depends on how you want to lay out the website. Of course, for us, uh, we just have a nice basic website here. So, uh, I'll just, uh, Add uh, my last one here, which is video production. Perfect. And I will create that page. Okay. So at the minute, this is our structure. We have our home, uh, our service, web design, SEO, and video production within service. And we also have the about FAQ and contact. Now it's important to know as well for each of these different pages, you need to make sure that you do the SEO. So an in order to do that, you'll have, again, the gear icon. Just click on the page settings. 
And what we'll do here is we'll jump onto the setting, sorry, and then we'll just go on to get found on Google. And this is where we'll have the option to pick a page that we want and add in our metadata, which of course will be the meta title and the meta description. This is going to help us rank on Google or get founded on Google. Now with the overall design of the navigation menu, now that we've added all our different pages, we can go ahead and select the layout for this. So if, uh, as long as you just uh, click on it once, you'll have the option here on the far right side for the website. You can see there it's showcasing the header at the minute. Now we have a few options to go through. We can either have a white background, a um, bit of a dark one and the gray one. And then also I can edit the theme colors if I need to. Say if I wanted it that red color, I can change it there as well. Um, I could do matching colors if I need to. So pretty much all of the themes are here. Uh, but what our focus, uh, our main focus is actually changing the background here. So that's the nice blue purple background there. Uh, I can also change the alignment if I need to. So currently this is now adjusting it for, um, again, our header. Now, if I just go to the site navigation again, just go into the theme. <clears throat> I'll have the option then for the buttons. Let's see what we have here. Again, I can change the colors if I need to. So what we need to do here is add the actual logo. So I'll just put in a logo here. Uh, at the minute it says profile tree. I want to align that to the far left because I'd rather have the information or the different pages on the far right side rather than the logo being on the very top or above it. And then what I'm going to do now is just upload a logo. It's as simple as selecting upload. And what I'll do here is add profile tree. So that'll just upload the file. All I need to do now is just select insert. And at the minute you can see it's just a white background. So I will probably just opt out for that white background. So it blends in uh, perfect, as you can see. Well, close enough to perfect. Uh, a bit of a different off-white color um, in comparison to this one that we have here. So again, you can also add some social buttons as well. So if you just enable that, this is where you'll be able to put in Facebook, X or Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. Now, don't worry as well about saving. Uh, it does do an auto save from time to time. So if anything, uh, if you by accident click off it, um, you'll still have the option or the new save file on the actual website itself. Now, if you really want to get creative with the banner itself, let's just say you're running a shop page or you might have a promotion in store, you can add a promotional banner. So if you want to just add a message on here, you can go ahead and toggle the switch so it's activated and then you'll be able to create a custom message. Now, if it is a seasonal decoration, you can set it for spring, summer, fall or winter so it'll automatically show. It means you don't have to worry about it. And of course, once that season's done, then you could just remove it. You do also have the option to add a link. So this could be uh, adding a link to a website URL, a uh, phone or email, uh, you can even link it to a page and of course it'll be the section of the top page so we're happy enough with that. Um, let's just say contact snow let's just say that for example so I'm happy enough with that and then click on done and for this background we'll keep it uh, let's see for the promotional banner, should be able to change the theme. The minute we have the theme on blue, I believe. Yeah, we do. So this is where we need to change that then to color black. Perfect. So now we've got a black background for this contact us now, contact, contact us now to get a quote on a website. So that is pretty much how you can customize the navigation menu if you do want to change the font 
uh, it'll pretty much just change everything. So let's just say if I click on that, or let's just go something different and wild. There you go. You can see how it's changing the actual font for each one of those. There you go. So there it is. That is pretty much how to add and create a navigation menu for the GoDaddy website. Now, if you have any questions at all, let us know in the comment section below. We'd like to know what you think, but other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.